Chicks Ladders, only at Jack's. Okay, our favorite librarian, Kelly Flemings, is back this morning, and he has two more books uh, to share for us this morning. One of them, I'm already on the edge of my seat. <laughs> it is this Kate Quinn one called The Briar yes. Club. Um, Kate Quinn is one of the premier historic fiction writers of our time, um, and I don't know if you ever got to read The Rose Code. Um, I that did was one not. of her best selling ones. Um, but the wonderful thing about Kate Quinn is she is very dynamic, but you get to know the people in her books mm. and you walk the lines with them. And with the Briar Club, it's great because it's set in a time period that you don't hear a lot about, the 1950s. Um, so they're dealing with the Mar McCarthy era with the Red Scare and mm -hmm. everything going on like that. Um, but it takes place in a boarding house in Washington, D.C. Uh, there are these five women who live in the boarding house and they get together once a week to have dinner uh, the day that the landlady leaves because none of them like the landlady. Okay. <laughs> and, um, but you get to learn each of their stories and how they blend together and mesh and each come from a very different walk of life. So you get all these wonderful characters that bring something new to the book, to the table and to the storyline. Is there a little bit though of like a mystery that happens? There is. Um, okay. I'm not giving away too much with this, but there is a murder that happens. Okay. And so it really makes the women decide whose side are they on? Mm -hmm. um, who can they trust in the house? Um, because you're, you're dealing with political persecution and misogyny and, and uh, race issues and everything. So, I mean, we don't want to get into too deep of a right. dive here, but it is interesting when you mention it being the 1950s. Mm -hmm. There have been like a lot of just casual conversational references in my life of late when you talk about how complicated these days are mm -hmm. and people will colloquially say, well, let's go back to the 1950s. But that's all in a matter of perspective because it was not a cakewalk then either. No, it wasn't. You know, everyone idolizes the, um, the 1950s, but People have problems no matter what exactly. area you're in. The, the problems may change, but you're still dealing with human nature and, and how people interact with each other. Right, so it's a great so, perspective book, I'm it's, sure. It's a fantastic book. And there's a wonderful um, thread of humor through the whole thing. So it's not just this heavy That's good. You know, reading. That's important. <laughs> Isn't it the best when you're reading a book mm -hmm. all alone and you catch yourself laughing out loud? I know, because you're like, oh, was that me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind if I do it again. Okay, now this one, The Witching Wind. Yes. That's a middle school grade book. It is. It's a, a middle grade book um, by Chattanooga's own Natalie Lloyd. Uh, she's a best-selling author. This is her ninth book out. Wow. And she's um, a library favorite, a, a favorite across the country. Um, she always blends three major things about her writing is she always has a sense of hope and a great sense of heart to the book. Um, her characters are people that you want to get to know and that you'd love to have in your life, even when they're not at their best. Mm. And there's always this wonderful sprinkling of magic throughout. Hmm. And it makes you appreciate the wonders of everyday life. So you called it a middle grade. Middle grade. Middle school and middle grades are a little bit different. Right. Middle grades is about your fourth through seventh grade, as okay. opposed to middle school, which is um, sixth through eighth. Well, I think, though, that that's great because <laughs> If you have a seventh grader out there, first of all, they mm -hmm. can use a little bit of escapism anyway. Exactly. Seventh grade's hard. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit fantasy in a way, isn't it? It is. It, it's got a thread of fantasy, but the characters are so based in reality that mm -hmm. you know somebody that's gone through something that they've gone through. It also, in the little bit of reading I did on it, seems like a book that is kind of protective of kids, that it it's is. not aging them too quickly. Right. It, it's not one of those things where there is content that that they are going to be forced to deal with something new. Right. Or something that's going to challenge. It, it will challenge their beliefs, but only in the best possible way. It's mm -hmm. like, believe that you can do this. Believe that you do have those abilities. You know, is it, a, is it intended to be a book that encourages empathy? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, one of the characters, Roxy, um, she has an accident and she deals with a lot of bullying in schools. Yes. So the wonderful thing about it is she escapes it to a point, 
but she still has to deal with the concept of bullying in her life mm -hmm. and she comes out stronger because of it. It's not an easy path. Bullying never is mm -hmm. um, from either side. But, you know, the, the kid who's bullied, it, it gives them hope. Right. There is an out. Well, and it's like a mirror then mm -hmm. for a young person to read because something in that book is going to be relatable in their life. Very whether they so. catch them, a character doing what they themselves are doing and they want to change it, mm -hmm. or it's what's happening to them and they learn how to stand strong against it. Exactly. It's a great thing. Mm -hmm. How lucky are we to have her right here in Chattanooga? And, and she's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, in fact, this book just came out. Um, and it's i know it's going to be another bestseller for her. um all of her books have been absolutely phenomenal and she's just she's an exceptional writer but she's an exceptional person too mm -hmm. and anybody that meets her um she lights you up really? um, she is just filled with joy and happiness and hope then her books have to be the exactly. same way you can't <laughs> escape that um are does kate quinn because i'm not familiar with her so mm -hmm. does she write about some of the same themes? Is she is historical fiction what she enjoys? Uh, she is primarily um, historical fiction. She's done a couple of co-authoring things, but um, like the, the Rose Code, which mm -hmm. is one of my favorites. This is one of my new favorites. Uh, the Rose Code is all about the code breakers in World War II who were women. Oh, okay. And the great thing is our book club at the library was reading it right when um, Victoria died and the ascension wow. and so victoria is mentioned in the book you it's just so here's what you need to know he mentioned the book club we've kind of got our own little book club now thanks to <laughs> kelly but you can always find more with him at the saudi daisy community library it is his heart's love uh, the kelkurtfoundation.org is a website to learn more about what they do there uh, and then there's the library phone number. If you are watching us this morning, mm -hmm. you are welcome to come and be a free member at the library. Free member for everyone. Doesn't matter where you live. Love you, friend. <laughs> It's Anthony A.